Laura. One of the hardest questions I've ever had to ask myself is how to distill my love for you down to a concise set of words. There are too many memories, too many moments to comb through, and too many characteristics to ever feel like I've done my love for you any justice. When I was young, just a boy, dreamed of falling in love with a girl like you. Through the years I thought I found you, but nothing would do. Now we Early when we started dating, there was a conversation we had where we took all of our baggage and laid it on the table. It was messy and probably irresponsible, but in that moment, I truly fell for you. You and everyone know how indecisive I am. Whether it's what to eat for dinner or what outfit to wear, I'm really just not good at making decisions. But if there's one decision in my life that I haven't been indecisive about, and I know is right, it's to spend the rest of my life with you. I love your thoughtfulness and your ability to keep me grounded. I love you because you must pet every dog that you ever see. Even if said dog is a block away and we have to stalk their owner for 10 minutes to catch up to the dog. <laughs> I love you because during a very low moment while I was crying on the bed, you just said McDonald's and then proceeded to drive me to three different ones until we found one that was open past 11 p.m. on a weekday in North Liberty. I love you because you give me strength when I'm defeated after a bad day at work. I love you because you keep me humble if I get cocky after a good one. I love you because you embrace my friends like family and go as out of your way for them as you do for me. There's only one Laura Skippers on planet Earth, and I'm the man who's going to be lucky enough to call her my wife. I promise to never take that for granted, and I vow to work for the rest of my life to try and make you as happy as you make me. So to wrap this up, I'll just say something that I tend to say to you after I've had a glass of wine. I keep you. This is the love of my life right here. This is the end of my night of fear. This is the meaning of ever and ever. This is happiness amplified. I can't believe what a perfect fit Rick found in Laura. She's kind, she's caring, she's smart, she's driven, and at the end of the day, she makes him a better person. Plus, she still lets Rick hang out with me and our friends, even after knowing how, how riled up we get each other and the countless sleepless weekends we've all had, but we always bring him back in one piece, which I'm sure she appreciates.
part where I'm gonna cry. <laughs> to Laura, you're my big sister and I love you. So I think it's mostly just been the care and attention watching you two love each other that's been really special over the past couple of years. Don't forget the small things. Don't forget the kiss before you leave out the door or the I love you just because. Life is lived in those in-between moments and finding joy in little things, no matter how small. So when things get hard, take one step at a time, do the next right thing. I've been able to witness the growth you've both gone through separately and together and the beautiful life you've been able to create over the past few years. And I know if you continue to do those things, you're in for one hell of a ride.